This announcement brought to you by Hendrix Gin. Oddly infused with rose and cucumber. Hurry, hurry, step this way, the strangest sight from the island. Freaks from the four corners of the world. A sample of the marvelous freaks you'll see for the price of a small thin dime. My name's Mysterion, I'm a mentalist. I think the most important thing with this project is bringing all the performers together. There really isn't a platform for Sideshow in Canada. There is about four or five active Sideshow troops that are in the country, but they're not really interacting with one another. I want to present a platform where everyone can come under one roof and show everyone what we do. To me, this is about recreating a time long gone that we'll never see again and you know if you can get a glimpse of it maybe it'll incite more of it to come back. So it's going to be a site for people to become educated in the history of the industry, get to see examples of different things, get to touch, get to feel, get to take photos with and then get to see the performers in action. The reality is is anything can go wrong with live entertainment and that's one of the beauties of live entertainment. You're not watching it on TV, it's not edited, it's not been there and packaged for your uh, safety. You are watching a guy take a fluorescent light put it down his throat, turn it on, and watching it glow through his chest. And I've hired that act before. And all it would take is one guy in the audience to stand up and push him and go, this is fake. And you have a death and a murder right there on stage, five feet away. But we have Band-Aids. Yeah. So write down the name of any celebrity. I don't want to see what it is. She doesn't want to see what it is. Yeah. Pass it to me face down. There's no way that... Neither myself or Steffi knows who it is. Now here's what we're gonna do. I want you to imagine the name of the individual. And uh, okay, let's make this happen. Steffi? Um, it's a musician. It's it's someone I don't like. Did you pick Justin Bieber? I sure did. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually okay. I thought I was gonna be more stressed out than I am, and I'm totally good. I had my breakdown yesterday, so today I'm pretty good. Um, Ticket sales are good. That's all I care about. Like, I mean, it's not all I care about, but when ticket sales are good, you don't have to worry about them. So ticket sales are good. I know the show's going to be packed. I know that I'm going to make a profit. I know that everyone's going to get paid. Everything's fine. But yesterday I had a couple breakdowns. I had a, had a cancellation due to weather. There's a big blizzard happening in the States right now. Currently waiting for somebody to come here that's sitting in Newark waiting for their flight. May or may not make it. But I got a lot of performers here right now. I just cooked dinner and we got some amazing performers here tonight um, staying with me and visiting and uh, just kind of going over stuff for tomorrow. And of course, there's my business partner right here, Steffi K. Steffi, come here for a second. And then, of course, Steffi and I are the sentimentalists. So we're going to be on the show tomorrow and we're going to be doing a lot of this, this nonsense and reading minds and freaking people out. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Ah, yes, yes. There you go. Yes. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So so Sin is uh, a professional wrestler. He's worked with the biggest companies in pro wrestling, including the WWE, TNA, NWA. And then we have the incredible Iclops over here. He is one of the only human beings in the world that has his eyeballs tattooed black. So those are not contact lenses. Those are the future for your children. This is the new thing that all the kids are doing these days. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to seep into your DNA and now you're going to have some... <laughs> seeped into my soul already. Black. Like I think it's a brilliant yeah. former. I just think sometimes you can do it. 
the inside of your nose will match the color of your eyeballs. Right to the end, right to the end. Trying to take it out. Can I take it out? <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> A human blockhead, ladies and gentlemen. Ta -da. Ta -da. That's why I like hanging out with people that do a lot of sideshow and stuff because they always have the idea, okay, well, what else level. can I do? Sure. What's the next thing I can put in my face? Um, what can I do that's bigger or deeper or whatever it is? Just, it's always, uh, I find hanging out with people that do a lot of this stuff, it's pushing each other, but in safe terms, um, watching after each other. Um, and if it really is a bad idea going, no, that's, yeah, don't do that kind of thing. And it, it's almost like a community and commodity, like a family kind of sense. Yes, the show's still on. We're all sitting here. We're. Oh, we gotta pay. How much? Fifty bucks each. So tomorrow, I'm really stoked because I get to finally see this thing happen, and I get to watch not only uh, the local performers who have been on small stages finally on a big stage in front of a full house. I think this is one of the biggest audiences a lot of them will have the opportunity to perform in front of. Um, <clears throat> unlike this guy over here who's been with The Undertaker and performed in front of 80,000 people. Um, you know, um, you know, a house of five, 600 people is, is a pretty big deal uh, in Toronto. When the curtain goes up and the spotlights are ready to go, welcome to the show. Hold on to your seat for this evening will be like nothing that you've seen before. Hard and curious things, puppets dance without string songs. They sing till you right to the bone with the terror. Nerves have dissipated. My excited nervous, my nervous excited, totally gone. It's just excited. Miss Tira and I have just been non-stop busy, but I've still managed to come here, set up my booth, and you know, successfully sell quite a few pieces. The thing people have been most fascinated with at my booth, real 1960s slinky eyes. Crazy. <laughs> Flying trapeze, another consumed by the fire he breathes. The tamer gets locked in his animal cage, and no one survives the collapse of the stage. Such dangerous wonders. So on three, I'm gonna have him let this go. Who wants to see this? We need lots of noise for this. I'm uh, Phoenix Fire. I'm a sideshow variety act performer and a fire performer, and I uh, travel this great world doing what I love to do. I'm gonna bring my buddy Dan up here. I'm actually gonna let him stick a staple on my forehead. So, you guys want to see this? Yeah. yeah. So on three, guys. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh. <laughs> this guy's crazy. If you ever wonder why you have bloody money? I did a human blockhead, a human pin cushion where I shoved a needle right through my face. Um, lie down on a bed of nails and had a cinder block smash on my chest. One, two, three. Oh. Ironclops, the body butcher. That was the first time I ever had an actual cinder block smashed on my chest. Uh, and definitely would not be the last time I ever do that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Say 
goodbye. And I am Canada's only female sword swallower. That was epic. Uh, Mysterion pulled off a miracle for sure. There's never been anything that big here, that's for sure. That was huge. The turnout was 600 people. Uh, that's a great turnout for a sideshow event in the city. I was surprised that so many people showed up from so many different diverse backgrounds mm -hmm. and so many different outcomes. That It was something that no one's seen in a long time and it, it was the right place, right time. Murray's an interesting guy. He's always somebody who likes to really raise that bar and push the boundaries. And when he came to me and said that he wanted to be crucified on stage, I thought, okay, I know how the effect is done. You can pass something through your hand without any damage. It's doable. There's a space. And, um, and then I said, give me a call. Tell me what's going on. Um, but I have a show to run. So he vanished. So I went over to Toronto Western and I went up and I walked down the hallway and he was standing there with his hands in bandages talking to the, to the reception nurse, at the, in the, you know, the station nurse. And, hey man, what's going on? And I'm like, Murray, are you okay? Oh yeah, brother. And his hands are covered up. There's blood drops on the edges. And, and he's expected to fully recover. They just have to take the nails out and, and, and there's no damage. He's going to be completely fine and without any incident. But uh, he crucified himself on stage. I watched a good portion of my show, which is rare for me because I'm usually not able to. I took part in segments. For example, Steffi and I uh, didn't realize we would be a part of Sin's act. Steffi didn't know she would lie on somebody and have a melon chopped on her belly. I mean, that's not what we do. And that was her first time on a big stage and there she comes out 20 minutes later to get used as a human cutting board. So that was real. There, there was no faking in her reaction, her fear, her anticipation of the blade coming down, her, holy, what, what, yeah, oh my gosh, right? The audience didn't know, that was real. Steffi's a mentalist, she's not a human cutting board. So there was all those fun little surprises that I didn't know were gonna happen that happened, which of course is what makes things really exciting for me as the producer. Sideshow's still in its infancy, it's still in that little sort of cradle and um, it needs to be rocked and it needs to be nurtured and it needs to grow. And having the ability to, to enjoy what you do, um, you don't just paint a painting and, and put it on the wall and not look at it. You gotta step back and enjoy it because it's, it's artwork and, and what everyone did was, was artwork. They were the different colors on the palette that all came together to make that piece of art, that painting, which was the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Steffi K, everybody! After this, I'm taking a fucking nap. <laughs> oh.